are suppressing natural medicine I know this for a fact you know I know that eugenics is real I know that um, they suppress these things my parents and other people I know have natural medicine companies that have natural you know organic and healthy cures for a lot of ailments diseases and medical conditions but these eugenicists suppress them now this is not why I started talking about this. I promised to God I started talking about this before I thought of it that way. Now, because I was, I was so occupied with my videos that I really didn't pay much attention to, you know, what exactly was keeping my parents' um, company down. You know, but you know, I, I thought of it as well. This is a, a world where rich people don't want a black man to get rich. But there's more to it than that, you know. Um, of course, they do let some black people get rich who are complete sellouts. And we see that quite often. Well, often enough. Um, so, when you look at the problem-solution phases of the New World Order, they explain why some controlled opposition groups that are given a lot of coverage, a lot of airtime, a lot of attention, you know, are allowed to touch on these things. They wanna they wanna say things like, well, we brought more attention to it than you have, and we've been doing this longer than you have, that we're the experts at this and you're not. You're some kind of new booty, you know, trying to say that we're wrong and that you don't know what you're talking about and you know, you shouldn't try to make us look bad and so on and so forth. Okay. And of course it is dangerous for them to highlight this for the New World Order. Because there is a small risk that the people will rise up and do something about it. But they do have a lot of social controllers to ensure control. And the reason why I say it's a small risk instead of a large one is because they are emasculating men. The emasculation of men and the feminizing of society with gender feminists. And you see that going on. You see the people who are quote unquote tackling these issues are homosexuals, gender feminists. Uh, what the fuck is this shit? What the fuck am I? I don't believe in helping the New World Order controlled opposition and being silent about things I believe or things that I am doing in order to team up against the New World Order. This is counterproductive. This is counterintuitive. I mean, they say, well, why? You know, that doesn't make sense, you know, and it's nonsensical madness. Okay. The reason why we are not going to overthrow these people, if the control opposition has their way, is because they are effeminizing, they are emasculating men. You know, they're making them gay. So to team up with gays, which regardless how you slice it, helps their gay agenda and helps them blur the line between men and women. You know, what happens? Women try to be men and they don't quite do it. And men become more like women and they get emasculized, you know, emasculated. Um, how the fuck is that helping the revolution? How is that helping humanity? It's not. You know, the only way to beat these people is to man up and take it to the extreme. Period. It's the only way. It's the one thing that they truly cannot handle. That's why they have so many things in place. You know, they don't have all these these control mechanisms in place to stop a quote unquote peaceful revolution. They know they're going to control that. They have all these countermeasures in place 
so they can stop, you know, people such as myself from violently overthrowing them, from hunting them down like the little coward, sissy, yuppie pussies they are. You know? So, help in any philosophy that is standing in the way, of, you know, is not a good idea. It's the problem with feminism, all this stuff. They're so concerned with women's role. The only time they've challenged the New World Order is as controlled opposition and because they're concerned with women's role. Some of them, honestly, are more in it to give women more power than men than to help the New World Order. You know, so they'll challenge the New World Order while the more secret society satanic feminists will be more silent about it. But there's also an element of they know that ultimately they can act up and, you know, pretend like they're playing the righteous role, pretend like they have the moral high ground, and it's really going to feed into the New World Order's agenda as well. So, you know, you must consider these things. We live in a society where the only way to make a positive change, the only true catalyst for real social action and real social change is extremism. And I'm not talking about, you know, killing innocent people and things that, you know, the New World Order has tried to stigmatize, you know, revolutionary action as. I'm talking about true warfare, okay? Now, I don't believe in psychological warfare or psychological operations. I believe in inspiring man with the truth, with scripture, with the things that must be done and not hiding anything. The more you reveal to the people that is true, you know, with no ulterior motive, the more they see that you're the good guy and the new world order, you know, are the scum. And the more likely they are to side with you. And when they do side with you, they rise above. It's why I'm the top martial artist. Because I'm not controlled. I believe, you know, I have a powerful connection with God. And they cannot beat me. Imagine an army of people such as myself. We would smash on these effeminate sissies. I mean, by doing what they're doing, they have made themselves vulnerable to extremist surgical strikes. And that is the only place they are vulnerable. So I urge you all. Not to support the spiritual bottom feeders. Not to say, well, we need to all come together. We need to all come together. You come together with a bunch of people with more, quote unquote, reverent power than you who are controlled opposition. Nothing will get accomplished. Nothing. But if you take these people on in a very surgical, masterful manner as uncontrolled opposition, highlighting who the wolves in sheep's clothes are, you will crush these lowly dogs systematically, effectively, and once and for all. So how you like my world? A world where Judah is a black fist and I have the most effective black fist. A world where they hide from me instead of accept my challenge. They covertly drug me and play stupid about it. A world of eugenics being part of American cultural norms. A world where if you're a conformist, you could not possibly be a good person. A world where the dual gender bafflement has everything to do with Cronus and the eclogue of Virgil and the new order of the ages on the American dollar bill. A world where occultists are cowards, gays, gender feminists, and weaklings. A world where black people highlight why they are wrong in their major movements. They say, well, it's your white privilege that wants to stop, you know, that makes you want to save us, save us from, you know, save our babies. Bitch says she kills her babies. Bitch said she kills her babies. What you see is blacks who are politically active tend to be wrong just how it is. Mainstream political activism by black people tends to be wrong because they side with the New World Order. And if you watch my videos, you know when they're telling the truth and when they're not by using what I have proven definitively as a scale of truth. Welcome to my world where no one can beat me no matter what. Welcome. Heru's domain, 
where I have triumphed over the controlled opposition bitches because God Almighty hates masonry. He hates Masonic feminists. He hates secret society feminists. He hates the Eastern Star. He hates satanic feminists. And he hates Marxist feminist filth. Those of you who are cowards who hide behind social norms, let me break it down to you feminists, you homosexuals, you LGBT scum, you atheists, you satanists, you criminals, you eugenicists, and other New World Order philosophies such as psychiatry and mainstream psychology. My world is the real world, the truth. Your world is a world of illusions and propaganda and phony movements with phony motherfuckers that are forced to bow down to my superiority every moment of every day as they cower and hide behind trolling and technology from God's truth. And when that trolling and technology catches up to them, they are squashed like a gnat. Down, 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 down